Lesson 9.5, Identify and Name Triangles. We identify and name triangles as shapes with three straight sides. Here is a triangle. A triangle has three straight sides. We can count them. One, two, three. Three straight sides. And if a triangle is turned, it will still be a triangle. So we can turn this triangle like this or we can turn it like this. It'll still be a triangle. It'll still be a shape with three straight sides. Here we have many shapes. We can sort them into sets of triangles and not triangles. We can use the information that a triangle has three straight sides to help us. Is this a triangle? No, this has a curve going around it. This is a circle. That's not a triangle. We can put it with not triangles. Is this a triangle? Does it have three straight sides? Well, this has one, two, three, four, five, six straight sides. That's too many. That's not a triangle. That's actually a hexagon. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three straight sides. Yes, if you said that's a triangle, you're right. We could put it here in the set for triangles. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three straight sides. If you said yes, you're right, that's a triangle. We can put it here. Is this a triangle? It has too many sides, doesn't it? That's not a triangle. That's another hexagon, actually, isn't it? Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three, four straight sides. That's not a triangle. That's a square. We need to put it with not triangles. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three, four sides. Two sides are short. Two sides are long. If you said no because it's a rectangle, you're right. It should go over with not triangles. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three, four straight sides. And we can turn it and see it has four square corners. That's a square. That's not a triangle. We can put it over here. We found one two triangles. There are one, two, three, four, five, six that are not triangles. Here are many different shapes. And remember, a triangle has three straight sides, but the sides can be of equal length or of different lengths, and it will still be a triangle as long as it has three straight sides. Triangles can be different sizes. They can be little, they can be big. We need to put an X on each triangle we see. Is this a triangle? We can see it's got a curve, so that's not a triangle, that's a circle. Is this a triangle? It has one, two, three straight sides. Yes, we can put an X on this one. This is a triangle. It has three straight sides. How about this one? Is that a triangle? No, that's a square. How about this one? No, that's a rectangle. Is this a triangle? Does it have three straight sides? One, two, three. Yes, it does. We can put an X on this one. Is this a triangle? No, that's a small circle. Is this a triangle? No, that's a square that's kind of tilted. Is this a triangle? I see one, two, three straight sides. And these are really long sides and that's a really short side, but they have three straight sides, so yes. We can put an X on that one. That is a triangle. 
Is this a triangle? No, that has too many sides. That's a hexagon. Is this a triangle? We have one, two, three straight sides. Yes, that's a triangle. It's got three straight sides. We can put an X on it. What about this? Is that a triangle? Hmm, that's a rectangle. It has four straight sides. How many triangles did we find? We can count them. One, two, three, four. We found four triangles. There are triangles all around us. This clock face is a triangle. These tortilla chips are triangles. And we can see triangles on this bridge. Here's one that I've outlined in red, but we could see there's other triangles here. There are triangles on this house. Here's a triangle right above the front door. And if we look very carefully, I don't know if you can tell, but there's lots of triangles here. There's even some squares, but I see triangles. And even our on this quilt, this quilt has pieces of fabric that are sewn together as triangles. And if you look at the side of the picture, look, we have one, two, three straight lines. Here's a triangle on the side of the quilt. Here's another triangle on the side of the quilt. Here's another one, and here's another one. There's many triangles in this picture. Here we have some triangles and some squares. There are many ways that triangles and squares are alike. Triangles have straight sides. Squares have straight sides. Triangles have lines that meet that make a vertex. And squares have lines that meet that make a vertex. But how are triangles and squares different from each other? Well, triangles have three straight sides and squares have four straight sides. Triangles have three vertices where the sides meet. Squares have four vertices where the sides meet. And these are square vertices. Each vertex of a square is called a square vertex. Not for a triangle. These aren't square vertices. So they can be alike and they can be different because of the number of sides and the number of their vertices. In our next lesson, 9.6, we're gonna describe triangles. I hope you're having a really nice day and I hope to see you next time and I hope you hit the like button for me. Bye.